Hey guys, welcome back to Rated RPG. Ray here. Today we are talking about Final Fantasy and Square Enix. Final Fantasy is on a roll right now. Everybody's excited for it. Everybody just wants to see what's going to come next. Ever since 7 Remake came out, uh, folks have been pretty hopeful as to the future of Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy XIV has been running on all cylinders, being called one of the greatest MMOs ever made and is still going strong. It's going to be coming to PS5 pretty soon, and the Endwalker expansion will be releasing later this year. Uh, I am not playing Final Fantasy XIV, but everything I've heard from those who do play it is that it is a fantastic game, and I have no reason to doubt them. As well, later this summer, Final Fantasy VII Intergrade will be released. It is very close. Intergrade being the expanded version of Final Fantasy VII Remake that includes all the Yuffie DLC and whatnot. You can, of course, just pay for the DLC for your PS4 version and play it on PS4. I, because I am an idiot and a sucker, will be getting the PS5 version uh, new because I want the fancy new steelbook that comes with it because I'm an idiot. Uh, I will be extremely excited to play that. Now, what else is there happening? In the future, we don't know how far in the future, Final Fantasy 16 is in the works and it will be coming out exclusively on the PS5. This is not the only Square Enix game that is being worked exclusively for PlayStation, uh, other games like Forspoken, for example, being developed exclusively for the PlayStation 5. So uh, a lot of Square Enix is being invested in the PlayStation 5, or I should say PlayStation is investing a lot in Square Enix. But we are getting leaks today from a user over on Reset Era by the name of Natra, who is a uh, accurate leaker in the past who has leaked previous uh, Square Enix uh, games and information and information about uh, confirmed games. Natra has said, pardon me, Natra has said that there is going to be announced this announcement season at E3 potentially uh, that Square Enix is going to announce a new Final Fantasy RPG that is yet again exclusive for the PlayStation 5. Uh, any details beyond that have not been uh, given uh, only to die only just to not expect it to be as high end as Final Fantasy 16 or Forspoken, uh, that it's not going to be a huge uh, project like those. Potentially, maybe a smaller remake or a smaller remaster. I don't know. That would be cool. Uh, geez. Uh, also coming up, this E3 potentially is going to be a announcement from Idios Montreal. I know what I want to come from Idios Montreal. They made the Deus Ex games, and I love Deus Ex Human Revolution. It is fantastic. If you ever get the chance, please go play it, even on last-gen consoles. It is still an amazing game. Make sure you play the director's cut, though, for the best version of the game. Uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided was a very disappointing game in terms of length, but it was a very good game in terms of what it was for how long it was there. I would love for Ideos Montreal to make a new Deus Ex game, but it is probably not going to happen, so we'll just have to see what comes from the developer. So there is a lot to be excited for and a lot to see at potentially E3 this year from Square Enix. So if you know something I don't, please leave me, let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, be sure to like, comment, subscribe with just your random stuff, and I'll catch you next time on Rated RPG. Later.